Right, all natural lip balm. I say all natural because everything that goes into this is a natural substance and there are no petrochemicals. I don't want petrochemicals anywhere near my mouth. So to that end I'm going to show you what I do. First of all, over here I've got my double boiler which is just coming up to heat and into my double boiler I'll just take you one ingredient at a time. Um, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of coconut oil and in northern climes that's what coconut oil looks like at this time of year. That goes into my double boiler and uh, I want in, in there a tablespoon of sweet almond oil. That's this uh, pure almond oil that goes in there. And then a tablespoon of beeswax and I'm using beeswax pellets which are really uh, easy to use and quick to dissolve. The next thing I'm going to put in is maple syrup. Maple syrup, this is a pure Canadian maple syrup, has some really great health benefits. Um, and it's, it, uh, there's, there's a study, I'll leave a link to that study in the description below so you can read it, it's rather interesting. Um, but it's a really great ingredient. I used to use honey for this, this recipe but since I learned about uh, maple syrup and pure Canadian maple syrup it doesn't get much better than that unless like my dear friend Hemi you're making your own from your own sugar maple trees well I've run out of that bit because <laughs> it was so good and I'm now using this but it, it's a great ingredient and into there goes a tablespoon of maple syrup now our next ingredient is about the same of shea butter, shea butter. The recipe will be in the description below. And what gives this a lovely sort of chocolatey taste, as well as the sweetness of the maple syrup, is uh, cocoa butter. It, it adds a wonderful chocolatey taste to this. And then that all goes in. In addition to those ingredients, you'll see here that I have, um, I've got 10, this recipe uh, should make up about 10-15 mil um, lip salve um, containers or you can pour it into little pots and apply it with your finger, it's up to you. But I like to buy these in. I know they're plastic but they're only designed to last a few weeks and they're really quite safe. Um, the last thing I want to put in is five drops of vitamin E oil. The vitamin E oil acts as a preservative. A bit more, there you go, that'll do. And then all we need to do now is bring that lot up um, to melting point and then mix it thoroughly. So once that's come up to mix, um, the, I noticed one thing with the maple syrup, uh, it doesn't quite find solution as well as honey does with the liquid, but I don't really find that a problem in the finished product. So all I do then is keep in the, keep in the salve warm, I then use a suitable device to transfer the amounts and what I like to do is if you top it right up like that you'll find a meniscus forms on top of the lip salve it's more than enough I'll need probably need a couple of more containers well I managed one more out of it but I'm using this last bit now to top them all up to give them a nice top okay so I got 11 out of that, which isn't bad. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let those um, cool down and allow them to set and then show you the finished product. 
So there we have it. Uh, I've got I got eleven and a half out of it. That half will be for me. Uh, these are nice little gifts to give to people, really. Um, you know, give, give them a gift of something you've spent your time on and something that will benefit them uh, certainly throughout the winter months and prevent those chapped lips. So uh, there you have it, all natural lip balm. <laughs>if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos thanks for watching